All right. Now, I know you're very busy covering the postseason, but about a week and a half ago, you turned Cal in Vegas into Cal in a body bag. He shows up again on Friday. Did you get a chance to hear what he had to say? And if so, what's your reaction? I did. And, you know, I'm, I'm checking in here from the Great White North, Toronto, where Jim, last night, Jim, I saw Chris, Jim, and he was wearing a shirt, Jim, that said King of Smack, Jim. And it would have been the most embarrassing thing I'd seen all week if I hadn't listened to Cal in Vegas' last call. I, I warned you, Cal. I gave you a chance to bow out with honor, beaten by a better man, but you came back at me. And it took like two weeks, and you said on Twitter that you'd lost your voice, which I didn't realize someone could do when the only people who will talk with him are named Chastity and can be reached with a number that starts 1-900. But Cal has a special way of managing to mangle a take. So, Cal, let me show you how this is done. I don't have to resort to personal appearance smack, but I do know that you're the creepy middle-aged guy who goes to the Cosmopolitan, leers at women, and can't understand when they ask, why do you smell like Slim Jims and drink Apple Teenies? And and this seems to be a surprise, since you couldn't get the women off you when you were scoring four touchdowns for Polk High. So listen, Cal Bundy, you keep playing to that stereotype of the guy who lives off his shine half a life ago, and I will keep being the guy the jungle wants to hear today. I'd save more for the smack-off, but... You're not worth my time or the clones, so let's just end this here. My favorite part, Cal, was on Twitter when you said I can't afford to live in your neighborhood. I'm fairly certain I could go to my nearby Home Depot, hop out back, pick up a used refrigerator box, plop it down next to yours, and we'd be neighbors. You totally have to show me how to get Wi-Fi inside corrugated cardboard. The sweet crib, bro. I do wonder whether you'll have any room for all the empty bottles of pop-off after you hear this call and drown your sorrows like Patty and Modesto. And I'm sorry, Jim, I didn't mean to spawn a sequel to Leaving Las Vegas, I swear, but the food chain is the same in the jungle as anywhere else. There is predator and there is prey, and even if it's not abundantly clear not a cow what he is, I'll take solace in knowing that everyone else here does. Romy, you rock! I'm out. Jeff Passan. Jeff, thank you very much. Rack him. Jeff, talk to you again soon. He is an MLB columnist for Yahoo Sports. He is the author of The Arm and a 2017 Smack Off invitee. And he's just piling on Cal now. Who wants to be the one to go over to Cal and just tell him, just stay down. Just stay down. Don't get up, bro. Get up. I know. I know you want to. Don't get up, bro. Just stay down. Stay down. It's not worth it. No, man, it's not your day. Stay down, Cal. Stay down. All right, that should put an end to that. But, you know, knowing Cal, it probably won't. It probably will not. 1-800-636-8686. All right, so go ahead and react to that. React to it on Twitter because I know you will. You can react to it on the phones because if you want to, you can. You have the telephone number. If you want to shoot me an email, go ahead and do it. It seems like a pretty unfair fight at this point. Cal seems to be fighting out of his weight class. But he already came back a couple of weeks after the fact. Not the day of, not the next day, but a couple of weeks after the fact. And as Jeff Passon points out, he said on Twitter that he waited because he lost his voice. But when he did finally come back, he was rambling on about things like Jeff Passon sitting in front of a TV with a a jar of Vaseline watching Skinamax. <laughs> and went with some personal appearance smack. All right, there is that. That's Jeff Passon. That's why he is going to be in the smack off Hey, any of you should take a shot at that. We do it once a year. It's for the very best of the best. We don't have too many public figures or people I talk to on the program as guests or celebrities that come in, but he is one of them. In terms of the Passin reaction, Hitman Canadian tweets, straight fire from Jeff Passin. Long live Cal Bundy. Total Big E tweets, Cal Bundy. Good night, Cal. Jeff Passin is the truth. Ed in Santa Paula. Shut it down. Let's go home. Shut it down. Let's go home. Jeff is a stone cold killer. Notre Dame Russ tweets, damn Jim. Until today, I didn't think it was possible that somebody could die a second death. Signed Cal in Vegas. Frank in the 209. Did Jeff Passen just drop a Patty in Modesto reset? And he ruined Cal in Vegas with bum smack. Cal, you're done. Just go away. All right, there you go. Cal, you're done. Just go away. 
Cal, my advice to you is stay down. Stay down. Do not get up. Do not get up for more punishment. Just stay down. This is when one of your boys just leans over you and says, no, bro, don't do it. Don't do it. Just stay down. Stay down. If you really can't stay down, Cal, what you need is to get back up right away and respond. Don't wait a week. Don't wait two weeks. Don't say it's because you lost your voice or you had surgery or you had a family crisis or, quote, you have a job. If Passon's got a job, it didn't stop him from calling right back. My advice, Cal, just stay down. Stay down, or if you have to get back up, get back up right now. But don't come back in a week or two weeks. Dear Jim, this Passon versus Cal matchup is about as fair as feeding Seagal versus Ali McBeal in a competitive eating contest. Cal, it's time to tap out. You just went from being embalmed in the funeral home to a straight-up cremation. Just go silent. Go dark on Twitter and step away quietly while you still can. War Clayton freaking Kershaw and war Jeff freaking Passon. Jed, Illinois. The thing is, that's not what he's doing. He's not going dark on Twitter. In fact, Cal did tweet. His tweet, good job, Jeff. That was good enough to get ninth place. That's what I mean, Cal. Cal, just stay down. Just stay down. Stay down or keep coming at Connor because Connor doesn't know you and doesn't care. The problem is when you come at Pass and he always comes right back. Good job, Jeff. That was good enough to get ninth place. Good effort. Good job, Jeff. Good effort. Cal says that was good enough for ninth place. Cal. I need to stop the fight, right? You're no longer capable of defending yourself. If somebody from your corner is not going to throw the towel in, I need to be the ref who stops this fight because you are no longer able to defend yourself and something bad's going to happen. And that should not happen on my watch.